Hey guys, so a bit of an awesome story. Um, I was cutting my sister's hair and I did film it, but um, I also started editing it to um, her editor on her computer. And when I went to add some more of the footage to it, it seems that the file had made it quickly in itself. So you didn't miss too much. I do still have the lightning, um, as in when I was lightning her hair over um, on my SD card, um, not my SD card, but our SD card still. But um, all I have done so far is just kind of lighten up her wrists a little bit, like. So I took out um, a purpley blue tone and just all the old excess colour. Um, I've had to give her three lighting services. This will make the third one. So um, I've also been trying to kick out the blue as much as I can. Some blue part has still very stubborn, but for the most part it's like a nice, very nice um, watery pastel teal colour now. The majority of it's now are platinum. I've worked out the centre part. I've also been working really hard to get um, the roots lifted. I'm actually going to turn the camera on. Here is her hair, as you can see the roots are now lifted. I'm um, going to go in with um, purple shampoo. So we can um, just purple shampoo is from Feral again. So we're planning on doing like a um, Harley Quinn sort of inspired hair. So one side's going to be like a pastel blue going to a deeper blue. And the other side's going to be a um, pastel pink going to an actual pink shade. We're trying to lighten her hair up as much as I can so I can put pastel tones through it. The camera is looking really really bright but in real life it's yeah. Over here is still very stubborn blue. Her hair is obviously very frizzy. I mean, her hair is actually wavy anyway, but very, very frizzy from all the services done. I try, so, um, I'm just going to um, battle my way to the roots and get the purple shampoo on there so I can turn it. Good morning, everybody. So it's been about two days since we last did um, Sean's hair. Oh, by we, I mean me. So Sean just did like a coconut oil treatment to her hair at the ends for like completely obvious reasons. So I'm just going to have to rinse them out, rip her hair out for now. You know, it's a mirror. <laughs> so she's going to rinse her hair out and then um, <coughs> I'm going to dry her off completely and then we're going to bleach her roots again. Or lighten her roots, sounds nicer. And then just target some of the last minute blue parts and um, let her hair sit for a little while longer. Like a few days later. And then we're going to start getting the fine colours. Okay, so we just got rinsing and drying her hair up. It still looks very um, wet looking and greasy. It's kind of only because there's still some residual coconut oil left, which is obviously perfect. Because of the state of Sean's hair, as you can see, his ends are seen in the days. So, um, yeah, this is um, her bruise. So, obviously, need one more lightning service, especially towards the front. So, we're going to do it for just a second time. Oh, she, has a quite, she has a second edition of my fire. Really good, I've got a six. Okay, I'm going to do one on Friday. This is um, her bangs area. The roots and lift up so quite so well, but um, hands on that now. Anyway, back of it, um, at the top it lifted. Anyway, back of it lifted just fine. Um, I have to go over again if you want to get to a nice white blonde. On the inside of it, it was still very yellow looking, so um, yeah, it's just one more bleaching and. or lightning, I guess you should try lightning. I oh, know on this side here I have to kick out some more of the blue. There's a lot more of the blue actually. So this gives up two more um, points of blue right here. So I'm going to kick them out. It's like just some patches of it left. Everywhere else is um really nice and teal, almost the um, platinum-ish tone. I'll the camera again so we can see again. So as you can see it's like all um, almost platinum just in some areas. So that's, it does look very teal on camera because there are still some green tones left. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to nail her roots first and kick out the rest of this blue. Okay, so we just got done covering her whole scalp again. The, the brassy parts. Also, some little golden tones at the top of her head, something in the back, so I'll just target around there as well. I did bring some through the ends of her head so I can really um, try and knock out um, all the blue um, tones a little bit more. So I feel like this should be a lot lighter. Um, with the rest, I'm going to go in with purple shampoo, but um, I'm going to get her to, when she's obviously finished processing, um, for 45 minutes. I'm going to get her to use um, a deep clarifying shampoo and then not doing conditioning because I wanted to keep the cuticle open. 
dry her off and then um, just for like a damp stage. And then I'm going in with um, my purple shampoo over here, which you can see. So this purple shampoo here. It's by Ferrell's the Shimmer Lights one. Okay, so I'm just going to put, Sean, put a bag over Sean's head, let the heat really activates and yeah. And so I just got some so I put in the purple shampoo through Sean's hair. Oh, I can't remember what's popping over it. In real life, it's more of a pinky tone purple. Oh, so, yeah, this is going to help neutralize all those yellow tones. And hopefully, I'm hoping it might like, combat the, um, the actual blue tones in her hair. So, or it might intensify it. Who knows, but. My mum is all good to go. Except for major frizziness that's like. Mm. So now it's going to sit for 10 minutes and then she'll rinse it out. So I'm going to do the exact same thing as what I just did with the whole application of tin bowl and brush, but with conditioner. I'm going to say hand laid it. Hell yeah! Okay, so Shana Dude has like a bit of an ombre thing going on, like silver purple going into the teal colour, but um, right now we're just going to focus on adding this conditioner into the end. So pretty much the exact same thing I did with um the toner or the purple shampoo. I'm going to just grab it in like chunks like this and just coat the conditioner onto it. Um, and just add it all around her hair as well, like every single strand. I'm gonna give her a haircut because, well, these ends speak for themselves. <laughs> so it's not my complete annoyance, um, it doesn't really take too well on the front here, so I'm gonna let that settle for at least a few days so um, you know, can start revitalizing itself again. I just don't know how to That's what I'm putting in. So as you can see here, it's still very, very golden and it's very, very dark over there. <laughs> So it's still gone at the front here, but everywhere else is taken to the silver tone a little, little nicely, or the purple shampoo I meant to say. Some blue tones here and there. So it's real time zoomed in ice for that. So still some blue tones here and there, so everything's pretty much watercolour at this moment. So um, when it's dry, it's going to look a lot more pastel tone. Probably that side I'm meant to be put the pink on, it's the most complicated side, and that's why I'm putting a little bit on. Well, that's going to not take any time at all. It's a nasty habit of just privileging the blue. It's a blue with the colour that stains like crazy. Anyway, so um, let's just add the conditioner now. Yeah, so it's been about a week since I last did my sister's hair. So I'm now going to office and turn it around. Okay, so as you can see, my sister, so sister's hair does still has some, like little lovely tones, but all the brows from at the back has now gone. So the purple shampoo through. Her hair is a lot more um, glossier and a little less fluffy feeling. Um, she is still very um, transparent green at the bottom here, but I am actually going to put this stuff through it, literally to my source. Um, I was browsing across YouTube just to um, you know, find different remedies of how to um, colour correct green out of hair, especially when you got one to go take it back to a, um, had a blonde tone. And obviously red is on the opposite end of the scale from green, so I'm going to be using tomato sauce to counteract the green in the hair. This for the blue, as you can see, is quite faded from when I last the lighting surface on it, but um, so as you can see, it's quite bright now. But I am going to be using some vitamin C tablets and of course head and shoulders some 
shampoo, which I've obviously always already pre-mixed. So I'm going to stick that through um, the blue of her hair, and then of course the tomato sauce, I'm going to stick that in my tin bowl into the green of her hair. I forgot to mention that the top front of her hair is still quite almost pale yellow so I'm just going to give another blast of one pebble shampoo because she obviously has been washing her hair with the pebble shampoo so it's taking a little brush from what you last saw I know it's a bit hard to see this lighting but yeah it's a spot of line just sucks it's not the best for um, videography or photography or etc yeah I'm going to give another blast of a pebble shampoo, uh, shampoo shampoo here obviously I'm shipping the last of the blue and I'm just gonna put like a chocolate tomato sauce in all the grain of her hair. Yeah, look at some. Uh -huh. I like, I wonder what the hell I'm drinking. It's up and go. It is a liquid breakfast drink. <laughs> okay, so just got done putting the um. the. Bottom of the tablets and the shampoo. Uh, egg the egg stain or shampoo. What was the tomato sauce? This is the bottom of the tablets and tomato. Uh, paper. This is that's one. Your ponytail is that one. Ah. Uh, because vitamin C and hensholes strip up. I know that. I know. Tomato why. sauce cancels up the green. I know that too. My good. I just got done putting the bottom of the tails and hand shoulders into my sister's fringe. I like running piece of hair. My sister also said blue. And of course, all here, it's got all tomato sauce. I still can't believe I've put tomato sauce in my sister's hair. I promise this is not like a um, sister rather prank thing. <laughs> and what is it? it? <laughs> Wait for the second. Wait the hand cameras. Swap behind you. <laughs> anyway, so um, you know, tomato sauce is obviously. Um, Ideal for color pressing and toning out the green. I just saw a couple of videos and um, there was one chick I was watching and she had different methods for it, but um, I obviously just set up the tomato sauce version, so we've got to do this in about 15 minutes. After that, I'm going to rinse it um, and then I'm going to put some purple shampoo through, through her the top of my sister's head. So like, it's literally just at the top, but you know, you put foils at the top of the head, just around the bangs and on um, the sideburn areas, it's still quite. Not like a pale yellow, like a golden pale yellow, but everywhere else has like a lavender tinge to it, so yeah. Let this cook, so to speak, for about 15 minutes, and then we're going to be back. Okay, so the tomato sauce removes the majority of the green in Michelle's hair. Like, you see it's like the tiniest little bit like a yellowish green cast, but that's not too much. And this hair is very, very frizzy and frazzled and almost transparent to the it used to be. What do you want to these lavender tones are all about? Um, yeah, so I went a bit over with the purple shampoo. Oh. The back of your hair was fine, just the top you don't worry about. Fortunately, we're still stuck with this stubborn ass blue. It's a little bit faded than it was before. Yeah, so I'm just gonna stick one more round of um, this in Chan's hair. Okay, we're back. I can't shut off. So, so, for the most part, the blue has faded quite a lot, but it's just this one strand that's hanging on to a dear life. <laughs> I mean, it's very, very transparent. It's almost like a pastel blue, which makes me feel a little bit better. And shiny. Oh, hey, belly. Hair actually feels very, very smooth. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, that's a little bit better. See, it's nice and transparent now, but um, I just want to give it a one more blast. I want to see if I can actually put it on lighten it out because it should be quite enough now from the bleach to um, work over it. So, gotta give it a ten bit of some light now, and then I will be right back. I don't know what this was either. Okay, 
it goes and now I have a whole tiny random piece of hair and foil. The very ends of it um, were quite faded like to a transparent tone so it's just like one of my patchy colours now so hopefully, hopefully this lightener gets the rest of it out or at least to like a, a baby shade of purple, oh purple blue, like literal baby blue, kind of blue in other words, yeah. I like when you can see that tiny little bit of transparent cloud across our sky. It looks so white, like little tiny pigments of blue. So that's what I'm hoping to get because then I'll be able to happily put on. Um... Where is it? I'll hopefully better put this over it. So here is the hoping. <laughs> oh yeah, and I'm also going to leave it in there for at least 30 minutes because I want to really let it set it in there. Normally you leave bleach in for about 45 minutes, but since it's only a little shine, I need to leave it in there for 30 minutes. Update of Shan's hair. The blue is very, very transparent now, but let's say it's all there. But um, tomorrow we're just going to colour over it the way it is, put the pink um, on the top. Well, you know. <sighs> about eyebrow length and down, and then the rest of it's just going to be the pink, and then it's going to be the pastel blue, and then the blue, which the blue, the actual blue side is easier than the current side of the chunk is. See? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I'm oh, gorgeous. Yes. Okay, yeah, so that's okay, the... Okay, UK woman. Okay. So that is the update. So now we're going to let her hair set overnight. Just going to overdose on oils. The hair obviously needs it. Even though it hasn't been through too much this time, just tomato sauce and... Um, shampoo. Bottom scene shampoo, yes. And then a little bit of bleach. Yes. Or lightener. Which has gotten blue to transparent shades, so I'm happy about that. It's gotten somewhere. But I was not going to be totally blonde. Anyway. But hey. A good artist knows how to work with a shit Plus, I just listened to what the hair says. Is it going? <laughs> It's a guy's hand quote actually, but alright. Still. Alright, so stay tuned for tomorrow's video and it'll, you'll, you'll know what it's tomorrow because it'll be much better lighting. Ciao! I'm gonna have a button here. Hey guys, so it's finally it's you know, now the next day we're gonna do Sean's hair. So we're gonna start with the pastel tones. Um, I've already mixed up the um, pink one, I just mixed it with conditioner by putting like tiny little dollops of it until we got to the right. Um, Showed that we um, felt satisfied with. We um, have a swatch cooking away in the background. Oops. Ugh. I'm trying to chop this you. Ugh. Hang on. Uh, there we go. So um, it is taken to the pink quite nicely. I know you can't really see it too well because it's almost transparent ish, but yes, that's happening. Okay, so what I'm gonna start first doing is a cool Sean's um I still on the pink tie, um I'm starting about somewhere around here because obviously we want to start off with the ombre. I mean all that how ombre works. So um just do was nice and faded there, so I can just gonna colour right over that. Hopefully it does work. And at the end of the work we get like this one random different tone. And for time gonna rinse off the um, pastel tone, then I'm gonna do the actual official dark tone down here, and for time it's empty on the other side.
Okay, this is the current process of Sean's hair. So we've got a pastel pinkish lavender tone going into a nice hot pink tone. And then a baby blue going into obviously a deeper blue. So yeah, the so split dye is obviously very Harley Quinn or near enough. We have decided to leave the roots the way they are. Sun's natural wind growth is like a very, very light um, brown, but almost like a dark blonde anyway. So we're gonna leave it the way it is. So we're also gonna have to put it with regrowth. Well, the banding of regrowth anyway. So yeah, stay tuned. Well, stay tuned. That's a bit of the wrong terminology. So stick around for the um, end result. Yeah, so we are finally finished. So this is what hair Char uh, Charlotte's hair is looking straight. As you can see, it has some split dye. And all I wanted here is just to put the colour through and dry it off, etc. It feels smooth and healthy again. <laughs> My gold. It is so ironic. I know. Well, it's looking like straight. I'm just going to take it off the tripod. So, top of it. And it has got the most beautiful greens, hence the pastel tones, into the nice hard solid tones. So. And it's just a jolson. Let me see my hair. I was trying to swing my hair. I mean, yes, there is still breakage, but no, that's just how I'm washing it. <laughs> so I'm going to colour it and I colour it. Wow! Curl it! <laughs> and then we'll be like that. And then we're going to put it into the highlight style because I'm going to highlight it, so I'll find it the same way. Anyway, so yes, we're going to curl it and we'll be right at the back. Okay, so. Oh. Right, oh. no? <laughs> oh, wait, no, I'm broke! Oh, my god. Come on, you're so sorry to get in there, you know, you just can't yeah, kind of dropping it. I think it. it's because it's a lot more like satin finish, so it's a lot more like. Yeah, my eye the same way. Hello! So here is Sean's finished look from Kelly Hair. It's obviously very, um, you know, highly into a good date night from the Source House Club movie. So, um, that's not the inspiration for it. So, yas! Like a bubblegum villain. Okay, and now we've got some pigtails happening. So cute! Now a little wild card on our hands. <laughs> So as you can see, the blue did still stick around, but that's why it's fun to have that one individual strand. Yeah, not to mention. A unique strand. So <laughs> Alright. You <done> yet? <laughs> Watch out, a new Harley Quinn's coming your way. 